Welcome to another edition of This Week in Disc Golf. It is Wednesday, June 15th. I'm Charlie Eisenhood, and here's what happened this week. Well, we had the fourth Silver Series event of the season, worth 25% of the points of a typical Elite Series on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. But this one had a little extra weight. The Beaver State Fling, happening now for the 19th time, and the longtime National Tour event back after a two-year hiatus at Milo McIver State Park in Estacada, Oregon. And let's get right to the highlights. Katrina Allen taking the early lead after some strong opening rounds. She's got a four-shot lead on Valerie Mondahano and Owen Scoggins as they head into the final round. Early on, Mondahano getting it going from the edge of the circle with the birdie, cutting the deficit to three. Hole six, carving the line right up onto the green and Katrina Allen on the other hand struggling finds the band on six she's looking at a double bogey Mondahano cashes in the birdie and just like that through six holes were tied up Mondahano would go on to extend the lead with just some fine shooting approach shots and the putting was on fire beautiful shot to the island on 13 Cashes in the par save on 14 from just outside the circle. Hole 15. Bam. Drops it in. Another birdie. Mondahano pulls away. Ends up defeating Katrina Allen comfortably by four strokes. As she goes five under, Katrina Allen goes three over. Valerie Mondahano wins her third tour event this season. Let's hear from her after the round. Uh, I think, honestly, a little of driving and maybe mental, just putting everything together, um, knowing my capabilities and my strengths. And honestly, just I've been working on my driving a lot lately, ever since Champions Cup. I couldn't get off the tee, but after that tournament, I just put a lot into my driving, and I feel like that's what's been helping me. So Valerie Mondahano completes the Oregon sweep just a week after winning the Portland Open in dominant fashion, she comes out and she chases down Katrina Allen and gets a four-stroke victory at the Beaver State Fling. Valerie Mondahano in fourth place in the Disc Golf Pro Tour standings right now and continuing to accelerate her season as she continues to find a ton of success on the course. Over in MPO, we'll start in round two, taking a look at the leader after round one, Corey Ellis. Hole number eight. Check out this roller. Lays it down perfectly. Trickling to the road. Looks like it's going to go OB. No, sir. He finds his way onto the island for a beautiful shot. Cashes in the birdie on 11. He is playing great. Perfect line. Right up to the basket on 14. Then another sharp putt on 15. And look at this. The disc falls out of the bottom of the basket. He doesn't even understand what happened. I have never seen this at a professional disc golf tournament. He ends up trailing Garrett Gerthy, who had an amazing round two at Milo West, by a stroke heading into the final round. Double G... He was not slowing down in this final round, cashing in putts, carving the lines off of the tee, going with the huge hyzer approach. I mean, he really had every facet of his game locked in. To 13, Joel Freeman making a charge. He's two strokes back of Garrett Gerthy at this point. And he's sending this one, trying to get it up onto the green. And how about into the bucket? Joel Freeman aces, catches up with Garrett Gerthy just like that, all tied. So he goes to 14, trying to continue the incredible run he's on, and he slows down a little bit, catches the branches on the left side, would end up taking a bogey. Garrett Gerthy, meanwhile, still sharp. He's trying to throw that one in. The turnover shot, the rollers, the putting... Double G is in incredible form right now, and he ended up winning comfortably, heading into 18 for his first tour win of the season, his second Silver Series win, 
and he gets the W at his favorite courses on earth. Let's hear from Double G after his victory. Well, uh, being that Milo East and Milo West are the top two courses in the world for me, um, there's nothing greater than to capture the Beaver State Fling win out here on uh, these beautiful tracks. I All year I brag about this place, and uh, it's finally paid off, you know. It goes to prove that this is my favorite place to play on earth. So um, I worked hard this week. I got my putt dialed and uh, no bogeys. I think bogey free this weekend was, you know, uh, the way to success and uh, give myself opportunities. And I told myself going into the tournament that as long as I have a chance, I'll be all right. After last weekend, I want to prove that I have what it, what it takes. So uh, finally captured that and uh, couldn't be more stoked right now. All the support out here, Oregon's been great. I mean, love this place. With the win, Garrett Gerthy moves to 20th in the Disc Golf Pro Tour standings. He is comfortably qualified for the DGPT Championship if the season were to end today. And he's playing some of the best disc golf we've seen him play in quite some time. Now to our social media minute. This one coming from Calvin Heimberg over on Instagram. Calvin posting... I didn't play well this weekend. My body isn't feeling great and I tried to push through, but I've decided I need some rest before the preserve, so I'm going to more than likely step away from the match play this upcoming weekend. Slight chance I can play. So let's take a look at the pools for this upcoming match play championship. Yes, the second annual match play tournament. Last year we had a straight bracket. This year it will be pools of four and the top player in each pool advancing to the semifinals. So let's take a look at the pools. Every player is going to play a 12-hole match against the other players in their pool, and the winner of each pool goes to the final four. A win is worth three points, a tie is worth a point, and the tiebreaker goes to total number of holes won before reverting to seed if that is still tied. The tournament is taking place in Bailey, Colorado at the Bailey Disc Golf Course up in the mountains. Bailey is at about 7,700 feet in the Colorado Rockies west of Denver. And so we are going to get some true mountainous disc golf. Big downhill shots, tunnel shots through the trees, lots of elevation, and lots of walking on tough terrain. So we'll see how the players handle the conditions at the high altitude as well as the verticality required to succeed. Maybe some Colorado players or other folks from high altitude will have an advantage this weekend. Think about that when you fill out your brackets. That is going to do it for this week in disc golf. We'll be back next week with a breakdown of the match play championships and a look ahead to the preserve, the next stop on the disc golf pro tour. Talk to you then.